we're in the cab of the locomotive and you can see some of the controls in here. The fireman was stationed on that side of the cab. The engineer was stationed on the right hand side of the cab. The fireman's job was to keep steam, pressure, and water level in the boiler to where it needed to be. The fireman shoveled on this engine coal, which was stored in the back of the cab, used a big scoop, opened the firebox door, and would shovel the coal into the door here for the fire to burn. It was very common in the era for engines to burn coal. They also could burn oil or they could burn wood, anything that could be gen used to generate heat to boil the water. This heavy part here is the boiler and it would be filled with water to about this level here and it worked like a big tea kettle on your stove. Now the engineer sat on this side. The engineer's controls included a throttle which opened a valve up in the dome which would allow steam to the cylinders to run the engine. This lever here is called a Johnson bar, and it was forward, reverse, a neutral position, you could call it, and then you could also set off, set the cutoff position on your valves, depending on if you needed power or speed from the locomotive. Brake valve for the train, brake valve for the locomotive alone. There's two little valves here, maybe hard to see, but they're for sand that went on the rail for traction, one for the go ahead, one for the backup. This here is an injector to put water into the boiler. The engineer had one, the fireman had one. Rules call for two methods for putting water into the boiler, so therefore both had an injector. Injector works on the principle of velocity overcomes pressure, so it's able to push the water into the boiler. This unit up here is a lubricator. It's a hydrostatic lubricator. It puts lubrication into the cylinders and the air compressor for the air brakes.